TMS Web Core supports application monitoring with Sentry. All you need is an account on Sentry.io. A free option for testing is available. And TMS Web Core makes it really easy to use it. It's all wrapped in one component, T-Web Sentry. The component has only one property that you need to specify at design time, the DSN, that links your application to the Sentry project. A demonstration for the component is bundled with TMS Web Core. On the main form, you have certain buttons to trigger certain events that are usually occurring within your application. Please note that you can monitor three kinds of things. First of all, you can monitor any exception that your application throws. You distinguish between JavaScript exceptions and Delphi exceptions. But even if you forget to catch a certain exception in your application, Sentry can be of assistance because those mistakes or errors are caught as well. Finally, you can also send messages to Sentry and use it for logging. Before you get started, you need to add your DSN in the source code of the demonstration in the web form create event. The best thing about Sentry is, and the Sentry support that is included in TMS Web Core is, you can enable and disable it easily. You include it in your coding, but still, with a simple Boolean value, you can disable that Sentry is being sent to the server. This is in particular important for countries that have strict data policies and would not allow you to deploy or use this functionality. Thus, you can disable and enable it easily. Let's enable it because this is actually the purpose of this demonstration and trigger all the different errors one after another. So let's try catching a Delphi error and send it to Sentry. And catch a JavaScript error and send it to Sentry. Notice that all errors are being caught. We do not get an exception inside of the web browser. This changes completely if you make a programming mistake and do not catch the exception. This is what is being simulated here. And as soon as that happens, the browser says we have an unexpected Delphi error and is being visible to the end user, which is not something that should happen. The same can happen for an uncaught error in JavaScript. Again, you get a stack trace and something that is not desirable in a productive application. And let's try sending a remark to the Sentry service. Hello from a tutorial video. Send log message and done. Of course, in your productive applications, all of this would not be triggered by button clicks. However, in order to test the functionality and to demonstrate it to you, this is a great application to do so. I now go and log into my Sentry I.O. profile. I tested the demonstration before I recorded this video, and you see right here that the number of events is two. That means this event occurred before. You also see that it is really five different kinds of messages that are being sent, two for the expected errors and two more for the unexpected errors, and then our message. Let's look at the send message click. First, you see the message that I sent and then all sorts of meta information like which browser I used, which URL it came from, my IP address and all that sort of stuff. Also, very important, the stack trace. The stack trace is in JavaScript right now. However, Sentry allows you to upload the map file that is generated when you compile your TMS Web Core application and then instead of JavaScript code, you would see Pascal code. You will find a detailed explanation about this in your TMS Web Core documentation. Going back to an actual error, let's see the detected error in your Delphi code. Again, you get lots of information about the browser that was used and also about the stack trace. Sentry does not only allow you as one single developer to deal with errors in your application. Furthermore, you can use it to collaborate to fix errors. You can work in a team and Sentry makes this easy. However, please refer to the Sentry website what the features of Sentry are. Let's look at the source code what you need to implement manually. First of all, enabling and disabling is as simple as setting the enabled property of the Web Sentry control. 
Sending a message is just as easy. You call the capture message method and pass the message on as its parameter. Then this demonstration offers you examples how to catch and send Delphi exceptions to the Sentry service and also how to enable the service to send uncaught exceptions that you might have missed. It most definitely is very easy to interact with the Sentry I.O. service using TMS Web Core and its T-Web Sentry component.